This video is rated T or Tickle Me Pink. Do you find yourself getting nervous about losing gear, playing raids solo, or just an overall unease and anxiety when playing Escape from Tarkov? Well, today we're going to cure that. We are going to talk about solo anxiety and gear fear in the same notion because they really are two sides of the same coin. I'm going to break down why you have gear fear, how it's negatively impacting your game besides just like this awkward anxiety feeling you have, and then also how to fix it. If you guys enjoyed this video whatsoever, make sure to smash the dislike button and tell me to commit toaster bath in the comments down below. Let's hop straight into the video. Before we go any farther, I am giving out literally free food. If you guys live in the United States of America and you haven't tried Factor 75 before, I can get you hooked up this week with pre-made meals ready to go for you. Just go ahead and shoot me a message on Discord and I'll get you guys hooked up with that. But message me fast as these boxes are going fast. So before we talk about why we get gear fear, let me explain why we're going to wrap up solo anxiety in gear fear. And it really boils down to how you have played Tarkov. For example, if you are a solo player, you may have gear fear simply due to the fact that you don't have anyone there to get your back. To go ahead and kill whoever killed you, refrag them, hide your insurance. So it's much more likely that once you die, you have lost that gear permanently. Now on the flip side, a lot of new players also, they'll join big discords, they'll run in five man groups, and they, they no longer have that gear fear because they always have a lot of people watching over their gear. They toss it and they get their insurance back a lot, right? They have success in volume there. But on the flip side, they never get that solo experience. So they never get rid of that solo anxiety. So they're stuck in this team play aspect as they get better and better at the game. So a lot of you could have one without having the other. Or if you're just a brand new player, you might have both. Well, why do we actually have these? And you can really break this down due to human evolution and human psychology over the last million years or so. But as humans, the only reason we've gotten here today look around you you have a gaming computer you have electricity you know you have a car you're not living in the jungle you're not living in the forest eating berries the only reason we're here today is we have utilized tools well our intellect and our usage of tools have brought us here today they've made every great civilization and your brain views everything as a tool like i mentioned your computer your car your gear to your brain is actually a tool and your brain wants to utilize this tool to its best capacity because your survival over the last million years has depended on how well you can use these tools now with a simple mindset shift realizing that you do need to utilize these tools at some point because they're going to be forcibly be taken from you if you don't lose them in game you now need to find a time to objectively identify when is the best opportunity to utilize those weapons a lot of guides will tell you simply just go run your best gear but for example, let's say you just started the wipe and you killed some guy for a six spear and you can't buy the ammunition. Bringing in one half loaded magazine is not going to do you justice. That's not going to teach you how to beat gear fear. You need to learn to go ahead and deploy your gear in ways that are going to benefit your survival rate, your progression, etc. At the end of the day, it is just a tool. And I'll also explain just like a few simple tricks that might help you overcome that hurdle. But let's talk about solo anxiety again, and the same notion we just did about gear fear. All right, and that same notion, think about solo anxiety. Now go back like a million years. Humans don't generally thrive by themselves. We always make like tribes, villages, etc. One person is really good with using certain tools, like maybe that tool is the oven. He makes food. Someone else is a blacksmith, etc. Going back to that tool analogy, and then also focusing on the fact that we are generally not by ourselves. Now, why did this start? Well, because staying together kept us alive from apex predators and it also helped us take down massive game that would feed like an entire village. Think about like woolly mammoths, for example. Now, solo anxiety is really just that feeling. Have you ever been like a kid, like maybe walking home from your friend's house late at night and you can't help but like, a look over your shoulder right are you taking a shower and you're like there's a demon outside my shower we've all had that feeling like that eerie feeling that something else is in our presence and it always happens when you're by yourself right this is really just what solo anxiety is in escape from tarkov and it's crazy that these survival games really are able to emulate these feelings so well and the reason why i break down gear fear and solo anxiety in these like primordial aspects is so you can actually identify them and why your brain is having like this feedback loop so you can 
overcome it. But when it really comes down to gaming, at the end of the day, if you have this solo anxiety, it's no different than like when you were in PE class and you were playing dodgeball and you're the last person up. Like, sure, there might be three kids hucking dodgeballs at your face, but you can still win. Like, you don't give up immediately. You don't need to have anxiety. Or maybe if you play something like Counter Strike or Apex Legends, you know, you're familiar with Clutch or Kick, right? And you need to go ahead and utilize like that energy, that anxiety to play well. You can't sit there and let it stress you out, let it cripple you and like have analysis paralysis, which can come in in the form of solo anxiety in game where you end up just crabbing around. You're not sure what to do. You get scared. You hear noises. You don't need to do that. Go ahead and utilize the fact that you know you're solo to your advantage, right? You don't need to just be exposed to fear and not able to make any decisions. Building off that decision making and the importance of time on both gear fear and solo anxiety is a principle called the principle of theta. So that's basically as time goes on, your decisions have less and less value, right? So for example, today, like let's say you wanted to get into the gym. If you didn't decide to get in the gym today, but rather a year from now, that decision would carry less weight for the rest of your life. It would have a less meaning. Like let's say if you continue to go to the gym for the rest of your life, right? That is the principle of theta. It's also used in all sorts of other sciences and maths. So you may have heard it elsewhere, but that's just a basic understanding of how the Greeks described theta principle. If you are a solo player and you are wanting to get better at Escape from Tarkov and have players to play with, join my Discord. It is a very active Escape from Tarkov Discord, and I love just hanging out in there, shooting the shit with you guys, and playing with you guys. So I'll see you in there. So now hopefully I've done a good job kind of explaining why your, your mind and your heart kind of put you in these like anxiety inducing states. How can you actually overcome them? Well, let's talk about solo anxiety. So the first thing that I would do to overcome solo anxiety is simply throw on some music. Now you don't need to be blaring the music on or you could leap on like rain sounds or something. Just make it low so you can still hear everything in game. But just something that's like calming and soothing. I know it sounds kind of silly, but it will actually make a night and day difference. Now the next thing you can do is get more confident with PvP. So a lot of people, their solo anxiety is going to stem from the fact that they don't feel very confident in PvP. And it's understandable. In Escape from Tarkov, let's say you always played Woods. It was the first map you learned and you never learned anything else. It can be half an hour till you get an engagement on Woods. And the other guy may shoot you and you don't even hear a footstep on like other maps, right? So you're going to take a much longer time to overcome that solo anxiety and to get comfortable in PvP. So go ahead and get out of your comfort zone and just start spamming factory. So factory, you're going to need to learn the principles of PvP very fast. We'll do a different video on this another day. But you need to cover your spawns, hit cover, pre painkiller, watch out for bosses, player scabs are coming in, in soon. And it's all in a very condensed format. Go ahead and spam that till you feel a little bit comfortable in factory. You're going to suck when you first start. Everyone is going to suck, but just stay at it. Do not go ahead and bring your best gear in because remember your gear is a tool and you're trying to utilize it. So go ahead and just find a setup that's affordable for you that you can die with 50 times, for example, right? And not go broke. That is your angle. So for some of you, that might be a pistol. For others of you, that might be a metal loadout, right? But you need to just be able to run something that is sustainable while you get confident and remove that solo anxiety and feel confident in pvp now that solo anxiety is no longer an issue for you how are you going to overcome gear fear you guys are not gonna like the sound of this but i think your best bet is to simply go and delete gear out of your stash right or go ahead and run your best kits and just go run them don't utilize them as a tool just run them lose them get used to that visceral feeling and realize the longer you're gonna play tarkov the more it's gonna happen and hey I'm not going to tell you guys to do anything that I won't do myself. So how about I go delete some of my own gear right now, probably more than anyone else here, just to put my money where my mouth is. Now, some of you may have watched that and thought that was painful to watch. You know, maybe it gave you secondhand gear for you didn't like seeing all those rubles being deleted. But this is simply the fact of the matter. All of those items are pixels, right? And if you feel that way or you have gear for you, those pixels have the ability to put you in an emotional state, actually control your mood. Think about it like this. Imagine your father, your best friend, I don't know, your girlfriend, knowing that pixels have that much of an influence over your mood. Like they actually can make you upset, make you feel sad. Now think of how big of a loser you feel like if people were to realize that. At the end of the day, these are pixels and they don't mean anything. They carry no value whatsoever. I know it kind of goes against the whole point of the game to collect these, to hoard these, that's why it's fun. 
But if they have this emotional strangle over you, this is not the way, man. You gotta break free of this. It is completely unsustainable for you to continue to play this game with gear fear. And just know that it's kind of an irrational fear, right? Because either way, either someone is going to take that gear from you because you chatted up and you went ahead and brought it in raid, or the game is forcibly gonna take it from you when it wipes. But just kind of like with life, no one's getting out alive. You're not getting out of Tarkov with your gear, all right? It's just your turn to use it. Remember that, utilize your gear, and suddenly like the shackles of gear fear are gonna be lifted from you. But hopefully this video helped you guys and Tarkov should be a significantly more enjoyable place to visit now that you no longer have solo anxiety and gear fear. If you guys want to improve your PvP skills, but maybe you're at work, I don't know, you're on a lunch break or something like that, feel free to swing by my stream, ask some questions, and watch me play. I have like 9,000 hours in the game, I have a super high KD, I'm a super high level, and I'm just a giant nerd. You might be able to learn a thing or two over there. If you haven't seen my video on camouflage, I'll have that on screen right now. It's how you can consistently get the first shot on someone. It sounds silly, but you're going to be winning way more PvP engagements by simply just watching that video. Go check it out.